we're away from this village, I can focus, you know, expand on the membership. Maybe take on an existing group, save on legwork. Yeah, we always work better when you haven't got a woman distracting you. At least Alice had some food in. <laughs> Never stops thinking about his stomach, that boy. Oh, I suppose you all think you're big men, do you, moving back in? Swaggering about the place like nothing's wrong. Better not have nothing else planned. Hello, come in. Why does everybody think they can just walk in here, eh? You know, if I did that at yours, you would call the police. Oh, I am very capable of knocking you out myself. Leela, this is our home. We're just trying to get on with things. Home? Come on, Steve. Everyone knows what goes on in here. Have a word, will you? Just try and have a quiet cup of tea like normal people. Do you know what's not normal? Is the teenage girl next door who is scared to death to go to sleep because of what you've done to her. What Dave did to her. And I, for one, am glad that he's gone down for 25 years. You mean Dave and his little army. Right, this is harassment now. You're putting me off me short, but I... You have wrecked Yazzie's life. And now, we're all watching you. Message received. That's it. Officially the last bit of food in the house. Change your tune, will you, lad? All right. You do realise it is Violet's birthday tomorrow and we had plans, but instead, here I am with no proper breakfast and, oh, the neighbours popping over for casual threats. Hey, maybe we should give Leela a scare, you know, like at Bramley Cliff. Like Dean. Leela, she's all mouth. So you've got nothing to fear there. <laughs> I'm not scared of air meat. I know you're not. But I do think she might be right. Maybe moving back in here is not the best idea. What choice did we have? My name's Mud all over town. I sold the business because of Dave's antics, so what the neighbours think is the least of my worries. Yeah, like we do things to please that lot. Get real stee. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, listen, why don't I go out and get some food and I could cook us a big chilli? Nah, maybe you should there, uh, lay low. But please, I, I just need to do something, OK? Even if it's just cooking. I need to keep myself busy to stop myself thinking about Harry. Or I could just starve. I mean, the fridge is literally there, but... <laughs> Good idea, Steve. Let's sit together shopping now. Food ready yet? Hey. Uh, no, not yet. I thought you'd be slaving over it. I am. I'll just come outside to get some fresh air. I always sweat when I make a chilli me. I think it's because I keep tasting it as I go along. It gets quite hot, doesn't it? Well, don't hold back. I'll have a fiery one. Getting a bit old to be playing with them, aren't you? Yeah, it's a note from Steve. Supposedly, but it could be from any of them. What, they're throwing messages over the fence? You're getting creative? Yeah, well, apparently Stuart came in yesterday to say they come in peace. No, I don't trust them. Probably one of their tricks again. Listen, bin that before Yassi's it, yeah? 